they go to the debate square, what I notice is that stuck naked, mind and body against oh, mind and body. body yes. All right. No technology, nothing, yes. you know, in between. Because that at the end of the day is all that we have. Because the, the noble halfway down the line, uh, they're able to connect. Mm. You know, then they see the connection, they say, hey, yeah, one never thought of that. Mm. Example, one example was, uh, uh, where is samsara and where is nibbana? The mm. question was like that, you know. The nobu said, it's where you sit. Oh, what a lovely huh? Zen answer. <laughs> because it's not here. Yeah. Nibbana is not there. Yeah. Samsara is not here on earth. Nirvana is not. But the answer here is humor for you. Uh. Here is an answer which is so <laughs> tepat, so profound. You see? You know what? After that, he says, when your mind flips, your, your perception change. You never go anywhere, you set. Yes, yeah. Your perception change from a mind full of lust, ah, anger, yeah. hatred, and suddenly go. You got no more. Yeah. Your mind flip. Just a, to be awakened into reality. Flip, just yeah. flip, you know, switch yeah. like a switch, you know. Yeah. I was also quite astonished, you yeah. know. That guy was like, he said, sadhu, 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 three times, that's yeah. all. But I think he left without, I think, astonished. Yes. And then I think he <clears throat> was affected. Affected, yeah. Because yeah. I can see, uh, he didn't ask anymore. But he asked later on. Oh, uh, enough. But, enough for one minute, uh, yeah, one hour yeah, of yeah. silence, you know. But after that, he asked very good questions. Yeah. Oh, big change, you know, from beginning, uh, I see uh, towards there. Now, then, then I realized it can impact people. Yeah. It can impact people provided, number one, they ask a good question. Uh, when you <coughs> go back to the Buddha's own ex life experience, he does, <coughs> he, he tells the guy, your question is wrong. Mm. You shouldn't ask this question this way. This is the way you should ask the question. You know? So can we emulate that and tell, prompt the guy, this, this is a shallow question. This is the way the question should be. Maybe we, we, are, should, we are attempting to should do that. be able to mold. Yeah. So I think now we are shifting our emphasis uh, on uh, preparation of Dharma materials. Uh. Uh, instead of just putting up things like that, that, we are thinking of structuring it. We want to learn from the Nalanda tradition. Because their their their, their emphasis is very structured, yes. but structured in a way that connects. Mm. No, that does not like silo, you know, mm. 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 Okay, so they connect, you know, and then they encourage the uh, debate yeah. to test the connections. Is it? Yeah. So I thought that was brilliant. Uh. That's how the Tibetans are. Their 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 sense of uh, yes knowledge that, is so strong. Right. And when they come out of that and then they're giving a Dhamma talk, for example, mm. they're so logical. Exactly. They're, they can preempt whatever you are trying thinking in your mind. It's brilliant. Yeah, they use the word like motivation, <coughs> intention. It's very different from the Theravada <coughs> approach. You know? mm. So I was thinking, okay, I think we shouldn't, in that sense, Dhamma, Dhamma study materials. The uh, worker is preparing Dhamma materials uh, yeah. to be disseminated to the public. It should not be in a silo form. No, because <coughs> in those days we didn't have <coughs> the advantage of Nobu. Okay. We had only those books. Books, correct. Yeah, I, it was either monks or books. Mm. Today, these are at our fingertips. Yeah, exactly. So we are going backwards if we go back to the books and the silo. Mm -hmm. What we should do is look at the silos, mm. and this is the challenge, mm. connections between mm -hmm. the silos. Fantastic. This, uh, intelligence today is not being able to retrieve material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I retrieve material yes. because I'm old-fashioned. Yeah. Today, the material is there, just this finger and that finger. Mm. But to see the connection between the two, we are in a civilization that is so advanced now as mm. we speak, mm -hmm. yeah, that we can't leave it there. Mm. We got to start seeing connections and Nobu has to help us mm. to see connections. Yeah, okay. All right, so finally, Uncle Vijaya, so do you think that uh, AI bots such as Nobu will change the Dhamma Dutta landscape? If yes, why and how? Dhamma 
cannot change. Mm. Dhamma is universal. Dhamma is the four <coughs> noble truths. Mm. Okay, we start off on that premise. But anicca, dukkha, anatta, everything is impermanent. From the time of the Buddha's first sermon to today, things have changed so much. If the Buddha came today, he won't recognize <laughs> what he taught, mm. but he will recognize his four noble truths. We have managed to still keep it alive. Okay, so we are in a, a magical moment, really, in history. We are so educated, we are so knowledgeable, we are so in, in uh, control of knowledge around us. What we are missing is the ability to connect that. Mm. The information is there, <coughs> but like we were saying about the not asking questions, yeah. we need to tra train our followers to ask those questions. They don't know how to ask questions. Our education system globally does not create thinking people. Mm. The Nalanda tradition did. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was a tradition which forced every individual to know something and know why he knew that something. We don't. We just remember. We, we, we are computers, outdated computers remembering you. Yeah, the one thing about this Nalanda mm. tradition uh, is it's very amazing. I've seen a debate on YouTube. Mm. They go to the debate square. What I notice is that stuck naked, both mind and body against mm. mind and body. Mm. All right, no technology, nothing yes. you know in between. Because that, at the end of the day, is all that we have. Correct. <laughs> you know, we me and my mind. Correct, like the Olympian. You have you seen the Olympic shooting shooting event? No, Listen, no, Paris. I mean. This, this, you know, every shooter, they yeah. have all this fantastic technology. Right, 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 all these things, right, right. you know. Then suddenly this Turkish guy come, mm. he don't wear all that. Mm. He just put his hand in the pocket, stand up and shoot poop and get a silver medal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we're talking about this raw, raw ability. Yes, yes, yes. The only two that you ever need is your mind and your body. Because that's right? all you're born with. Correct. So I think mm. we have to go back to that. Bring everybody. Now we are so intoxicated yeah, right, with right, technology. Right, right, right. We have to move from that stage. We are now in a very <coughs> exciting stage. In the last 20, 30 years only. Mm. You know? In fact, when you approached me, I didn't know what a bot was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so what is a bot? Then my grandson told me. Uh, Comes from robot. Uh, so, ah, okay, all right, all right. But from that, the next stage very soon. We may not even be using any of these. Mm. You see? But what we need to do is to see connections. Yes, yes, correct. Ma see connections, make new connections. Correct. That's right. Yeah. So I think that, that, that summarizes our discussion uh, because uh, it's about joining the dots. Uh. Yes, yeah. and teaching people to join those dots and don't leave it to the machine. Okay. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu, thank you so much, sadhu, 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 thank you. Thank you so much for your It's a great <laughs> privilege to have talked okay. to you. Sadhu. Thank you very much, uh, Uncle Vijaya, for really such an enlightening exchange and uh, sharing of your experience. Uh, this will be very beneficial to, uh, to to listeners of this video. And more importantly, we are going to we are going to transcribe this video talk, okay, into a text and then upload into Nobu for training. All right, so it's not just a video, you know. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so all the key points we will compile and segmentize as a, as a teaching point, right, in text. And after that, upload into Nobu and use it as a training material. Oh, lovely. yeah. So when people type, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what is a good Dharma Dutta approach? And perhaps your whatever you say today will be reflected in a Nobu's uh, output. Yeah. So thank you very much once I'm again. I'm humble. <laughs> thank you. We are we are we call it the we call the Nobu, uh, Swiss knife of a Buddhist epoch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> multiple multiple users, okay? Yeah. Nothing is wasted. Yeah.